there's no time for an intro. We've got like a million people to get through, so we're just gonna go. All right, EAD Group 2. Let's start with someone whose work you'll probably recognize. Katsuya Uguchi has been at Nintendo since the late 80s. He started work as a graphic designer on the Famicom game Grand Prix F1 Race, a racing game that actually featured Mario a whole generation ahead of Super Mario Kart. After that, he'd move on to the big leagues, working under Miyamoto and Tezuka as a map designer on both Mario Bros. 3 and Mario World. Aguchi found his niche as the SNES progressed, working on experimental projects. He embraced the power of the Super FX chip as the director of Star Fox, along with its unreleased sequel, Star Fox 2. See, when the N64 was coming out, they billed that as like the big 3D game system, and so they didn't want any 3D games coming out on the SNES, and so they cancelled any 3D games that were coming out, like Star Fox 2, even though it was pretty much completely done. And then later on, that was replaced by Star Fox 64 on the N64, but Star Fox 64 is really nothing like Star Fox 2, and has no similarities with it whatsoever. But what does have similarities with it is Star Fox Command, which came out many years later on the DS. But still a different game. Anyway, after the cancellation of Star Fox 2, Aguchi moved on to the N64, directing Wave Race 64. After that, he moved into the strange world of the 64DD. For those of you less familiar with Nintendo history, that is the Nintendo 64 disk drive, not to be confused with a particularly large women's bra size. Noguchi was instrumental in the 64DD game Mario Artist, but as it became clear that the 64DD was doomed, he moved on to create an entirely new Nintendo franchise. In 2001, a game called Animal Forest was released on the Nintendo 64 in Japan. Those of us outside Japan would be introduced to the game a bit later, and under a different name. And a different console. In 2002, Aguchi's creation will be brought to the world, but on the GameCube rather than the Nintendo 64, and under the name Animal Crossing. Needless to say, it did pretty well. With the success of Animal Crossing under his belt, Aguchi transitioned to a new role as a producer. He became the first manager of EAD Group 2, and led his team through the creation of Wii Sports, Wii Play, and Wii Music. He rose even higher in the company as the overall producer of the Wii U system and its launch title Nintendo Land. His success continued as he worked with a young director to breathe new life into his Animal Crossing franchise with the extremely popular Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. Today, he no longer leads EID Group 2, but has instead moved on to being the general manager of the entire Kyoto Development Division. With Aguchi climbing higher and higher up the ladder, you may find yourself asking yourself, well then, who is the leader of EID 2? Which is a dumb question to ask yourself considering you don't know, otherwise you wouldn't be asking. Hisashi Nagami started his career at Nintendo as a character designer for Yoshi's Island, which was directed by Hideki Kono. Remember him from, from the last episodes? Yeah, it's all fitting together now, isn't it? You're learning. That's what's happening. You're learning. Nogami would go on to work on Mario Kart 64 and Yoshi's Story before eventually teaming up with Aguchi to work on Animal Crossing. As Aguchi moved on to manager of EAD2, he would also become a mentor to Nagami, who would take up the torch as the director of the next two Animal Crossing games. Nagami was instrumental in the creation of the Mii Channel and the Wara Wara Plaza, that's the Wii U home screen. I'll bet most of you forgot that it had a name. He would eventually succeed his mentor, becoming the manager of EAD2. This is where he currently resides, working as a producer on Splatoon and whatever EAD2 has hidden behind the scenes. It's likely the Wii U iteration of Animal Crossing will be his next project after Splatoon is finished. Speaking of Splatoon, let's talk about the game's co-directors, a couple of relatively young additions to the Nintendo team. Yasuki Amano and Tsubasa Sakaguchi. Amano started at Nintendo in 2005 as a debugger on Animal Crossing Wild World for the Nintendo DS. After that, he moved on to the Wii, working on both Big Brain Academy Wii Degree and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Amano would make his debut as a director in 2012 on New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. After that, he'd move on to Splatoon. His co-director, Sakaguchi, started at Nintendo around the same time. He started as a character designer on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. He would continue as a designer throughout the Wii's lifespan, working on the Wii Fit games, Big Brain Academy Wii Degree, Wii Sports Resort, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Later, he would work as a designer on the 3DS menu before jumping aboard the Wii U to help out on some of the system's early titles. He worked as art director on Nintendo Land and character designer on New Super Luigi U. From there, he would join up with Amano to work on Splatoon. Next, we have one of the few developers at Nintendo who started at another company. 
Takayuki Shimamaru joined Capcom in 2002, where he worked on the GameCube exclusive remake of Resident Evil. A game which was later remade in HD, but for some reason wasn't released on the Wii U, because obviously Resident Evil has no Nintendo fanbase whatsoever. In 2004, Shimamura left Capcom and joined Nintendo. He gained recognition when he directed the smash hit Wii launch title Wii Sports, along with its sequel Wii Sports Resort. He would go on to launch another Nintendo system by working as the director on Nintendo Land for Wii U. He then directed the remake of Wii Sports, Wii Sports Club. Nearly every project he's directed at Nintendo has been a huge marquee title, so it's safe to say that whatever he's going to do next will be big. He has a gift for demonstrating what makes a system special, as he did on the Wii with Wii Sports and on the Wii U with Nintendo Land. It's possible that his next title will be some sort of follow-up to Nintendo Land, perhaps the medium through which we receive Project Giant Robot and Project Guard, which we saw at last year's E3. Finally, we have a developer who became a major name at Nintendo virtually overnight when her directorial debut, Animal Crossing New Leaf, became a runaway hit. Eiyaki Goku came into the public spotlight last year when she presented at the Game Developers Conference and discussed the development process of Animal Crossing New Leaf. She got her start at Nintendo in 2003 as a scriptwriter on The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. She stuck with Zelda as a writer on Twilight Princess. She would then transfer to EAD Group 2 to work as a sequence director on Animal Crossing City Folk in 2008. After that, she took on the role of director on Animal Crossing New Leaf, taking over for Hisashi Nagomi after he ascended to the producer role at EAD 2. It's safe to bet that she's currently working on Animal Crossing for Wii U, likely as the game's director. If you want to know more about EAD Group 2, including a director that I didn't even mention in this video, you can head over to NintendoWorldReport.com and check out our full-length feature. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to NWR TV for coverage of the latest Nintendo games, such as the Wii U release of the Metroid Prime Trilogy, which you can learn more about by clicking this video link right here. This episode was co-written by Neil Ronahan, who you can watch almost every week on Nintendo News Report, which you can find right here. And if you find the delicate sound of my voice particularly soothing, you can hear even more of me over on my channel right here. By the time you're done doing all those things, we should be just about done with the next episode of Know Your Developers, so be sure to come back next week for that. My name's John Reardon, and you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Too many wonderfuls. I, I know, I see that now, but it's too late to go back.